Dave destroys Social Security in this video. Dave Ramsey goes off on the Social Security Administration and how broken it is, and he gives somebody advice on where to take their Social Security. Check this out. Tracy's with us in Billings, Montana. Hi, Tracy. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey hey, Show. Dave. What's up? Thank you very much. Really appreciate the opportunity. Sure. Uh, I'm 61 years old, and I keep getting these letters from... Uh... By the way, I was going to say, I like the old Ramsey set better. I feel like he was kinder in this set. I don't know what happened when he got the new set, but I really like this old set he had better. I just I just like the aesthetic better. Social Security want to know what I want to do. And, you know, I'm still working. I'm on baby step seven. Mm -hmm. I am married. You know, I don't know. What, when is the best time to take advantage of that fantastic program? <laughs> I sense sarcasm, Tracy. <laughs> I like Dave's having some fun. He's laughing. He's connected with Tracy. He seems like a nice guy in Billings, Montana. It's good, good start to the video. The trick to knowing when to take Social Security is to know when you're going to die. And once you got that okay. figured out, then you can then you can calculate it precisely. Okay. By the way, the trick to taking Social Security is not try to calculate it precisely and to know what day you're going to die. The trick to taking Social Security is how it's going to prevent risk in your retirement and how it's actually going to help you to show up more powerfully and spend abundantly in retirement. Obviously, the longer you live, the better it is mathematically to take it later because you're going to get a bigger check for a longer period of time. I don't need it, so I was intending to invest 100% yep. of it. However, yep. then I found it. Okay, that's a key insight right there. Trace doesn't need the income to live on. He's planning on investing 100%. That brings up an interesting point. Okay, so what does he want to invest it for if he doesn't need it? Is it for his kids? Or is it for his long-term care? Is it to protect his wife, right? These are all key risks that could be addressed. But again, here's what's interesting, okay? The number one economist in the world, Tom Hagen on the subject of retirement says, the breadwinner should delay till 70 if possible because that check is gonna cover two lives, not just Tracy's life. So again, if you're a 60 year old couple today, there's a 50% chance one of you is gonna live into your upper 80s. There's a 25% chance one of you will live beyond age 93. So again, the math is in your favor with centurions being the fast growing population on planet earth that delaying on the breadwinner social security would behoove the surviving spouse. The later you start, whether it's 62 all the way up to 70, every year you would get more. If you run the math out in your situation and you say, okay, I could take it at 66 or 67 and I would get this amount. And if I took it at 62, I'm gonna get a different amount, X versus Y. The difference in those could be made up almost every time, you can run the numbers on it, by taking every dollar from 62 to 66 that you get and put it in a good investment. By the way, Lawrence Kutlikoff, who's the foremost authority on social security in the world, number one economist in the United States, number one economist in England, Japan, and China, says that using social security and calculating a break-even analysis is a mistake. Social security is an insurance product. It was designed to help Americans from the Great Depression to be able to have a meaningful retirement. It's a social program to help make sure that people have a check in retirement. 90% of America makes less than 100 grand a year. 50% of America arrives to retirement with less than $25,000. So again, Social Security is not meant to be an investment tool. It's meant to help people from being impoverished in retirement. It's a social program we all pay into so we don't have a bunch of people in this country who can't afford money and are sick and dying and don't have any way of having any type of standard of living when they can't work any longer. That's what the program's for. People can use it to be the cornerstone of retirement income when they're putting together their retirement income scenario, and it's really important for that as well. It, the investment returns will give you greater than the difference for the rest of your life. By the way, when you use 12% as your standard linear number, you will always win. Dave Ramsey is genius. He just goes, mutual funds make 12% every year. And you can literally outmath any scenario with 12% a year, just who knows. But again, I can't find anybody that's getting this 12% every single year. So if somebody knows anybody, I mean, I know we have great returns. I know things go really well. But 12% every single year consistently, every time, will always win out of any scenario. Almost every time. So it, it usually makes sense to take it early if you're going to do what you're going to do, which is invest every bit of it and uh, let it run. Now, taxation comes into play when you're still working. All those other things come into play. You've got to look at that. And, and yeah, if he's still working and he gets an earning reduction, he's not going to receive any benefit anyway. They're going to save it till full retirement age. So again, Dave Ramsey hinted to that. But if you're still working and you're making enough, you can't even take the benefit and do what he's trying to do anyway. So Dave Ramsey is kind of lightly touching on that. And he said usual, so let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, let's be fair. I think that's okay to talk about but there's other factors there as well. The basic concept is that you can get a better rate of return than they will pay you by waiting. Plus, when you die, that money that's in that mutual fund is part of your estate. When you die with Social Security, nothing! That's what you get. <laughs> I love that emphasis on nothing. <laughs> that's great. If you run the numbers out on your Social Security, folks, you will discover it's about a negative 4% rate of return in your life. Only the government can figure out a way to talk everyone into having a ta something removed from their check that they make a negative 4% on and everybody fights to keep it in place. And it becomes a political icon. Only in the United States government could they figure out a way to make that crap work. And you guys all just... Oh, 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 oh. All of America are morons, by the way, according to Dave Ramsey. <laughs> like his impression of American people. Like these people are poor and impoverished. They need this benefit. It's so unbelievably condescending to just go, oh, like your personal Like people need that benefit. There's people who live on social security and that's all they have right now. That was the point of the benefit, by the way. There's a cost to be able to support a society and you need to have some social elements to be able to do it. I'm not a socialist, but again, I, I think that it's important to recognize that countries have figured out economically that there's a balance of social programs that you must have in order to be able to function. For example, schools, 
are, are part of that balance. And so it's not like it's for dumb, poor people. It's for people who really need it and who, who really have not been able to save at the level that obviously Ramsey's been able to save at. I've been paying into it almost 40 years. I've been paying into it 40 years. You can keep all that. I'll still come out ahead in the next 20 years. Not putting money in the stupid thing. Just putting that amount of money, the amount of money you robbed from me in my check for this broken, screwed up mathematical disaster. You guys can just keep that because your program's so freaking awesome. By the way, that is completely wrong. Fike is 6.1. I don't know what Fike was when Dave Ramsey was 18 years old, but I'm sure he wasn't making what he's making today, although he did was very successful early on in his career. But it's capped up to certain thresholds and income limits. So it's 6.1 up to relatively low limits for Ramsey's income. And so basically he's 58. If he's going to work until 70, let's say, that means he's only going to have 12 more years of that 6.1 up to the cap. And if he were to start taking Social Security benefits at the highest limit, he would get paid almost all that back in a matter of like, I don't know, five or six years. It's, it just says whatever. Only the federal government could talk you people into doing this and let and you just like a bunch of sheep. You'll just take it out of my check. And I just, golly, man, we all just love it. And God forbid that the Democrats or the Republicans ever tinker with this broken freaking system. Oh, your grandmother's going to starve and it's going to be all your party's fault. What a crock. Oh my God, it's just so insensitive. The whole thing is a disaster. Okay, got that out of my system. Tracy, your sarcasm turned into my rant. That's how this works around here. There are people that are running out of money in retirement. There are poor little old wi widows and ladies who, and men who need this social security check and that's who it's for. So again, I'm just baffled. The math doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. I, I like Dave Ramsey. I like a lot of his stuff for helping you get out of debt. I do not understand this at all. I've had the privilege of sitting down with Professor Lawrence Cutlikoff and I want to share that video with you next. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. And if you don't, that's okay. Just leave a comment. Let me know what kind of feedback you have and what your thoughts are on this argument on social security. But what I'd like you to do is check out this video right here because I interviewed Professor Lawrence Cutlikoff, the number one economist on social security in the world, and he breaks down how to maximize social security to help benefit your retirement.